What's up fellas? Doing some power output testing today on the liquid propane banjo burner. We want to find out how much power we're actually looking at right here. So we're going to run it for a certain amount of time. We're going to check the clock, weigh the bottle, see what we got. We're also going to check the propane bottle performance and the spark plug performance to see whether or not we've completely fried the thing. What's up fellas? Back out here at White Sands Proving Grounds. In today's test, we got a couple of things we're going to look at. The first one is, will the spark plug work again now that it's been fried half to death at red hot temperatures? That's kind of important. What we're going to do is run this bottle for four minutes. And we are going to observe the energy output based off of that time frame. And then we are going to lower the blower output to such an extent that we can observe the actual amount of fuel being burned because it's very deceiving when you're burning it in a supercharged state and we are also going to take a look at how much fuel is left in this bottle after four minutes and can we do eight minutes out of it so let's check this out let's see what we got going on We're also going to kind of observe the tank pressure. We're starting off at 140 PSI's and we're going to be injecting straight liquid propane into that line that will be vaporized in this propane vaporizer. I went ahead and uh, painted it. I didn't have any black paint, but I figured this would absorb more heat than the just shiny stainless on its own. All right, fellas, so here's the situation. The liquid propane system is like a dream come true. We have totally solved the power output issues of the standard method of just boiling the propane in the bottle. Now, this vaporizer coil is going to be put in an extremely hot environment, so don't worry about its placement. It's going inside a firebox, this whole burner, so there will be more than enough heat flying around to vaporize that stuff just fine. Same thing with that air duct. It will also be within the hot gases of this burner. Look at the vapor cloud on that vaporization coil. You can see it fluttering around like the frost and the cold air. Pretty amazing transition. And we got some fire and ice here for sure. So without flipping this bottle upside down like this, there's just no way to sustain anywhere near this kind of power. As you can see, the pressure hasn't dropped hardly at all. And anyone who's ever run a foundry or a forge or even like a, a fryer with a propane tank knows that you pretty quickly lose pressure anytime you're trying to do a substantial amount of power put. This thing is screaming so loud right now that uh, it's just incredible. And I definitely think it's going to do the job that it's intended for. We're going to be building six of these, so I have to set up a rig they can fire up six of these things simultaneously without any problem. So that's going to be the next move. We got to see if that little transformer can run six spark plugs, but that's how much gas we are burning in this thing right now. And we're shut down. So, and we got a steady flow of power for that entire four minute duration that we were looking for. The bottle pressure barely changed at all because in this particular case, we're ejecting liquid propane rather than boiling propane in the bottle. There is a drastic difference between this configuration versus the status quo. Probably illegal or something, I don't know. <laughs> that was a uh, pretty extraordinary performance there. I like it. Let's weigh this tank. So, what's the brass tax on this burner? It turns out after a longer duration and with a properly filled tank, we've come up with the final value of 815,000 BTUs on this burner. That's 239 kilowatts and about 320 horsepower. The actual fuel consumption is about just over half a pound an hour, as you can see here. Um, this thing can produce 11.3 pounds a minute of steam. So with just one burner, but you've got to take into the consideration the fact that we're probably not going to do better than 25% efficiency. So I did go ahead and look at the numbers there as well, and that puts us at about 2.8 pounds an hour per burner plate. So since we got six of them, 
I'm gonna do some more math and I'll get back to you guys on what we can actually do with this thing steam-wise.